Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brentsec. I'm so sure your weekend was well spent. I'm so sure you are yet to subscribe to my channel. Please, I use this time to urge you to subscribe if you are yet to. So in this content, I will be showing you how you can recover or restore a deleted post, a deleted content on Facebook. I'm so sure you carefully follow what I'll be showing you this day. With that, you'll be able to understand the video at the end of it. Stay tuned. In order to recover your deleted contents on Facebook, this is what to do. This is how to go about it. The first thing to do is to, to install your Facebook app or the Facebook Lite. If you have them already, all you have to do is to update them. Let me show you what to do. The first thing to do is add to your Play Store, your App Store, the iOS, Apple Store, or the Google Play Store for Android users. And check for Facebook. This is the Facebook. So in most cases, you need to update it. Equally, you can use the Facebook Lite to do this. This is the Facebook Lite. You have to update them. But in today's video, I will be using the main Facebook. This is Facebook. Since I have it already and I don't want to update because of I want to use a few minutes to illustrate this video. I don't want to take your time. Let me go straight to the tutorial. So I head to the Facebook app. In order to show you this, open the Facebook app. It has opened. So what you need to do is to add to your setting. Locate your setting by tapping on the top right uh, option on your screen that shows your profile picture. Tap on it. So it can take you to settings. This is settings. We are in settings. Uh, click on settings and privacy. Settings on and privacy. After settings and privacy comes up, you click on the settings that is below settings and privacy. Click on the settings. Settings as open under settings and privacy. So go down to locate activity lock. We are looking for activity lock now. So you need to go down to locate activity lock. Go down, go down, go down. This is activity lock. Activity lock is under your activity. Review your activity and content you are tagged. So you click on activity lock. In order to restore your deleted contents on Facebook. So welcome to Activity Lock. So we are in Activity Lock now. So you have to click on Trash. Trash is after Archive. You click on Trash. Trash is the next option after Welcome to Activity Lock. So click on Trash. Trash has opened. Here it will show you all the content you have deleted in the last 30 days because facebook says that you have some certain days about four weeks to delete or restore your trash contents using this activity lock so you have to locate the post you have trash 
that you want to restore so locate the post by clicking on the three dotted lines by the right hand screen of each of the contents like the one of july 15 2023 i i want to restore it for example so i need to click on the three dotted lines at the right hand side of the screen so click on the three dotted lines at the right hand screen beneath the content you want to restore as you can see it has given me three options the first is view the second is restore to profile the third is delete if you want to delete these contents permanently from your profile you have to use the last option which is delete but in this context the video is to show you how to restore your deleted content so you have to, re to restore by using the second option restore to profile so when you click restore to profile the content will return to your profile and your friends will start seeing it again unlike when it disappeared from your profile which maybe you made a mistake and you trash it or you trash it on your wheel so this method this tutorial will help you to restore your deleted content on facebook so you can go ahead and do this to other content inside this activity lock so after restoring this first content if you want to restore the second which is on the july 9 2023 so you can still use the three dotted lines by the three by the right hand side of the screen as i showed you earlier so click on the three dotted lines to restore the content of july 9 as you can see you can restore it with the method i've shown you other contents you can equally restore them all you have to do is do not allow this content to exit between 20 and 30 days after you trash them you can as well restore all this content by going to the top screen of your device when you check the top screen of your device check the left hand side of the screen you see all if you want to delete all if you want to restore all the contents or equally if you want to delete all permanently from your profile so you tap on all automatically take your site to the down part of the screen the bottom of the screen you see restore you see delete so if you choose any of this option the contents for example if you are choosing restore if you click on the restore since you have highlighted the whole contents which is we have five contents in this activity lock on this profile so if you click on restore all the contents will return to your profile but if you click on the delete the dustbin icon at the down part of the screen the bottom of the screen by the right hand side you see that all the contents will delete permanently so let me show you how you can delete or trash your content on facebook because each time you trash your content automatically it will go to settings and it will now go to activity logs that will open when it will uh, self-destruct automatically delete after a certain time which is between 20 and 30 days this is as this is this was set by facebook so this is how to trash your content you go to your profile after going to your profile you check the right hand screen on each of the contents the three dotted lines click on it have you seen move to trash at the down part of this option you will see move to trash so you see that items in your trash are deleted after 30 days so that means each time you trash a content it will remain in the activity log for 
a period of 30 days after the period of 30 days it will automatically delete itself so you can always add to the activity log and then click on trash to restore your content if it was deleted by mistake so if you want to trash this content you click on move to trash the next thing to do is to click on move if you click on move automatically it will trash and it will run to activity lock and it will wait for 30 days before it will self-destruct so if you have any question in this video you can drop it in the comment section of this video like this video share it with your friends share it to your friends check our channel for other interesting videos we appreciate your time while this video lasted please don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to stay updated with our future videos thank you for staying with us while this video lasted stay tuned for our next video